Word. Right, I'm so trying to read that, but you oh. know. Oh, it's quite all right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah it sure is. I, um, so basically what I did was I went into these, I explored abandoned places in my free time. And in a lot of the neighborhoods I explore where I live in, I live in South Shore. And so there are a lot of industrial sites in these areas, and I started to look them up. There are a few industrial corridors in the city where all the factories used to be, right in there. Right. So, and I started to notice that these wards, if you look at the statistics in the wards, they have the lowest average lifespan, and they also have the lowest income rates in these same corridors. While at the same time having the highest number of minorities and the highest number of toxic waste dump sites. Over near the steel mill. Yep, right around in these areas. So these wards are pictured here. And I went and I photographed these places from above and kind of just documented the areas, literally. So I wanted to have this thing where I take pictures of the areas that I found and I overlaid the maps on them. And then I wanted to sort of like illustrate what could happen if, because I mean some of these soil caps on these waste sites are 12 inches of soil between the air that we breathe and the waste underneath them. Yeah, so basically <laughs> to kind of replicate how easy it would be for that waste to be released into the air is there. It's literally there. So one day a hard rain or a few weeks of hard rain could reveal it. They're supposed to last 99 years, but that's provided that the rain doesn't wash them away. And so I wanted to convey this by having the same site, different images, so the viewer can sort of spray them just like this. And let's see if I can focus. And then you just rub it with your hands and it reveals the image beneath. So, so that's essentially the idea behind the piece. You just sort of, you're revealing the sort of toxic waste sites that the city was bombing on. Where were you actually located when you took these pictures? Where well, you building the coordinates. Okay, so these, the main ones that I went to were um, the AMC, Acne Coke Plant. It's um, right around 114th and Torrance, near Big Marsh. Right off the, uh, yeah, yeah, I yeah, know where Right it around is. there. The Grain Mill in Pilsen. So right around 35th and Ashland, right. right in that area, there's an abandoned grain mill. And so I sort of find these industrial sites, and these two, I found a aggregate mine. They use these materials to pave the roads in the city, and the mine is it paved over a wetlands area. So that would be this mine right here, and you can sort of see from the, the mounds of material, these are the mounds that they use to gather and mix together to make the gravel for the roads. And so I just overlaid the city's, um, the road map on one side, Oops. And then the water wetlands on the other side. So kind of fair with that too. So yeah, basically just two parts. Um, it's a little bit further north, actually. This one, this is a different area. Okay. Yeah, so these two are part of a adjacent series. Okay. So same concept, only specifically related to the roads of Chicago. Okay. And this specifically related to the wetlands that used to be around the city. Okay. So this paid over wetlands. So this is on the north, so I think it's far north actually. So, um,